Welcome to the Holy Land in this biblical site of the Mount of Olives. In this video we're going to be talking about some of the things that happened right here on the Mount of Olives. I want to show you some sites here first. Uh, just down uh, below me, beside me, is the Garden of Gethsemane. You can see the Church of All Nations which marks the spot of the Garden of Gethsemane where Christ was arrested and sweat great drops of blood. And then just up a little bit, uh, the domed uh, uh, building you can see there, the church. That's the Church of Mary Magdalene, one of uh, Jesus' Uh, followers from whom Christ had healed seven demons and then the uh, the uh, triumphal entry starts uh, just below the uh, beside the uh, Garden of Gethsemane then weaves up the side of the hill uh, just a little ways up beyond the uh, Church of Mary Magdalene is the Church of Dominus Flevit which marks the spot where Jesus paused when he came down in the triumphal entryway and, and wept it means in Latin Lord wept and then you go on up and that's the triumphal entry and then at the top you can see uh, all the graves and stuff that's the Mount of Olives and then uh, up beyond the buildings up there on top is the actual highest point of the Mount of Olives and that's where Christ ascended back to heaven and will descend back in power and great glory so there's a lot of things that happened right here in the uh, Mount of Olives right at the base is the Kidron Valley or the Valley of Jehoshaphat that's where Christ will gather all the nations at the end of the Great Tribulation and that will be the wine press where he treads the the wine press and separates the sheep from the goats and the blood will run down this Kidron Valley um, to the uh, height of the uh, horse's bridles all the way down to the Dead Sea and then to the Red Sea 180 miles it says in Scripture so anyway in this video we're going to be talking about the Mount of Olives an overview of the Mount of Olives it's a place where Christ stayed at when he came into uh, Jerusalem he visited Jerusalem uh, on many uh, occasion it's the place when um, uh, Absalom uh, betrayed uh, David David went up uh, the Mount of Olives uh, weeping so it's mentioned in the Old Testament and the New Testament it's mentioned a lot as well as we were saying it's the place that was Christ's favorite place when he came to Jerusalem to stay just on the other side of the uh, Mount of Olives is Bethphage that's where uh, Lazarus and live Bethany and Lazarus and uh, Martha and Mary uh, lived uh, Lazarus's uh, sister so anyway um, a lot of things happened right here in this video so this is gonna be a great video so as we said it was the Christ's favorite place when he came into Jerusalem it says in Luke 21 37 and every day he was teaching in the temple, but at night he went out and lodged on the mount called Olivet, which is the Mount of Olives. And on the back side of the Mount of Olives, as we mentioned, Christ lays, uh, raised Lazarus from the dead and wept for those in grief in John 11. It says, Now when Mary came to where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet, saying to him, Lord, if you had been here, my, my brother would not have died. And when Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews who had come with, with her also weeping, he was deeply moved in his spirit and greatly troubled and, and he said where have you laid him and she said to him come Lord and see and Jesus it says wept and so the Jews, uh, Jews said see how he loved him so it was just on the other side of the Mount of Olives is where Christ uh, raised Lazarus from the dead uh, it was here on the Mount of Olives on the triumphal entry that you can see here that Christ descended down the Mount of Olives at the triumphal entry and he came in uh, on riding on a donkey uh, coming down the Mount of Olives uh, it was also at the base, as we mentioned, is the Garden of Gethsemane. And it says in uh, Luke 22, 39, And he came out and went, as was his custom, to the Mount of Olives, and the disciples uh, followed him. And it says, And he came to the place, and, he's, uh, and he said to them, Pray that you may not enter in temptation. And so he went a ways away. And anyway, at the, at the uh, Garden of Gethsemane here below is where uh, Christ uh, sweat great drops of blood and prepared for his uh, crucifixion and, and the process of his suffering. And from the Garden of Gethsemane to his his death on the cross was approximately about 18 to 20 hours that he endured of uh, suffering. And then it was as Christ came down the Mount of Olives at the triumphal entry on Sunday that he paused, and we mentioned the uh, Church of Dominus Flevit, uh, which means in Latin, the Lord wept. That's where he paused, and then he prophesied over Jerusalem, and he said that uh, not one stone will be left upon another uh, because you did not recognize the time of your visitation. So then in 70 AD, the Romans then totally uh, uh, leveled, destroyed Jerusalem, the temple. Uh, we as you can see in this video some uh, stones where it fell down the the pavement walkway uh, they got destroyed or dented because the rocks falling down so anyway the uh, temple in Jerusalem was just leveled by the Romans in 70 AD as Christ prophesied there as he stopped by the church Dominus Flevit and uh, wept and uh, we wanted to show you the actual rubble from the part of the wall that was knocked down by the Romans you can still see the uh, floor the walkway the roadway is damaged there 
And uh, these stones are the same ones that were knocked down by the Romans and uh, never put up again. So you can see the remains of Christ's prophecy right here. And uh, on the top of the Mount of Olives is where Christ uh, returned back uh, to heaven. It says in Acts 1.11, And when he had said these things, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. And while they were gazing into heaven, as he went, behold, two men stood beside them in white robes, and said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking into heaven? This same Jesus who was taken up from you into heaven will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. And that was the place at the top of the Mount of Olives. So, it's also the place to which uh, Christ will descend in power and great glory, the angels, the armies of heaven, which signifies us. Believers, he will come back on a white horse in, in, in power and great glory. The, the sun will be darkened, the moon will give its light, the stars will fall, and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And he will descend in power and great glory, and he will touch down according to Zechariah 4 4 right on the top of the Mount of Olives so it's right here and then he will reign right here in Jerusalem for a thousand years so anyway that happens right at the uh, top of the Mount of Olives and it was at the, uh, here it's at the base of the Mount of Olives in this Kidron Valley or the Valley of Jehoshaphat where Christ will judge the nations when he comes back at the end of the tribulation it says in Joel 3 2 and I will gather all the nations and bring them down to the Valley of Jehoshaphat which is another name for the Kidron Valley and I will enter into judgment with them there on behalf of my people and my heritage Israel because they have scattered them among the nations and have divided up my land. And then in Revelation 14, 19 it says, So the angel swung his sickle across the earth and gathered the grape harvest of, of the earth and threw it into the great winepress of the wrath of God. And the winepress was trodden outside the city. This is the Kidron Valley. It's just right outside the city. Um, outside the city and blood flowed uh, from the wine press as high as a horse's bridle for a uh, 1600 stadia, which is approximately 180 to 200 miles. So it would go down this Kidron Valley, uh, clear down by Jericho to the then uh, right to the Dead Sea, south of the Dead Sea, and then eventually wind up to the Red Sea. So anyway, that happens right here. So we are standing on holy ground. We are seeing uh, the main center, the spiritual center here of where Christ has spent his ministry and where he will return in power and great glory, where, where he ascended to heaven and where he will enter into judgment uh, with the nations and then where we will come back and rule with him coming down on, on the top of Mount Olives and then re reigning right behind me. I'm, I, we're right uh, filming right uh, in front of the Eastern Gate which was right in line with the uh, original temple so uh, that's right behind us here and you can see that in this video so anyway we're on a uh, holy ground here so uh, what can we uh, observe about this uh, Mount of Olives? Well the Mount of Olives as we mentioned is located just opposite of the Temple Mount so it's just on the other side of the Temple Mount east of Jerusalem. Uh, it's the place where Jesus stayed most. It was his favorite place when he came into uh, Jerusalem. It was on the back side of the Mount of Olives that Christ raised Lazarus from the dead and wept for those in grief. Uh, Jesus came down the Mount of Olives on the triumphal entry saying, I am your Passover lamb, right on the, the, the Passover uh, or a Sunday, the lamb selection uh, uh, day. And so he was saying, I am your lamb your crucifixion lamb. Uh, it's right in the Garden of Gethsemane right down here that Christ uh, sweat great drops of blood, was arrested, and then led away uh, to be, uh, be appear before Caiaphas and Pilate and, to, and then eventually led to, uh, to the cross to be crucified. Um, the destruction of Christ was foretold right up there uh, and so in 70 AD the uh, city was uh, leveled and it's on top of the Mount of Olives where Christ ascended back to heaven and it's right on the place uh, the Mount of Olives the same place where Christ will come back in power and great glory so it's absolutely uh, amazing to be here and it just uh, moves me as I stand here looking over all of the places I can see Christ coming down the triumphal entry I can see him weeping I can see him in the Garden of Gethsemane I can see him being led from the Garden of Gethsemane right this way up to the house of uh, Caiaphas. Um, I can see um, the uh, him being ascended back into heaven. I can imagine him coming back in power and, and great glory. So this Mount of Olives is a, a rich place of uh, biblical history. So hopefully you've uh, uh, learned a few things in this video and hopefully we'll be more meditative and be thinking about Christ's return and living for him and being one of his true disciples. So thank you for watching this video and God bless.